Hi everybody, Belinda here and um, welcome back and for you, for those of you who are new, welcome. So <clears throat> on the 14th, I think it was about the 14th of June this year, I put up a video where I did this one here. If you look quite closely you'll see there's a lady here, pretty cool, with all of these beautiful 3D cells, they seem to have like folded up on themselves. I just did a random pour and in this one I used silicone so I won't be using silicone today but hopefully um, with the various uh, different paints that we're using it will create the cells. So anyway let's get cracking. So sometimes I do enjoy doing just something random um, this is a 12 by 24 inch <coughs> and um, I'm going to need probably about 350 mils of paint. I'll run through the paint very quickly. Right, so here I have um, vermilion orange and this is Atelier Brilliant Magenta and Dioxidine Purple uh, What next? I have my 24 karat gold by Deco Art and this one here is actually a mixture of the cardamom, cardamom Yellow and yellow ochre. Then I have just black and copper. <coughs> right, so I'm going to go in with some black first. Quite a lot of black. So that is all the black I'm going to be using. And this is Mars Black by PBO, which is really nice because um, it doesn't change colour when you put your pouring medium in. So it's one part paint to two parts of Floetrol and some water for consistency. Now my consistency for this pour um, if you can count to four slowly and then it disappears, that's what it is. And with that so the reason why I've mixed the yellow ochre and the cardamom yellow together is because the cardamom yellow and um, The dioxidine purple are the cell makers. Go in with some pink. I'm not going to do too many layers. Probably try and do about uh, two layers, maybe. The orange seems a little bit on the thick side. This is um, the copper. Oh, the colours on the side of this cup are amazing. And I might put a little bit of this red in. This red is a little bit thinner because I want to use this as really just to, so I can put it around the paint to move it. And. Now already I can see that that's quite a lot of paint. Okay. 
but I'd rather have too much than too little. Get it all in there. very thick and one part paint to one part of flow troll for the gold and some more orange I'm not sure if I'm going to need any paint as a flow aid top of that. Don't know how well the copper and the gold are going to go together. Right, I think that's plenty of paint. Let's see what magic we can get. So I am just randomly going to pour this paint Okay. Oh, I like that. Yes. And I can see the cells popping up already. And I want to get. Let me show you guys. The cup, you can see the cells in the cup. Beautiful. I absolutely love these colours. Just go over this a bit. Some paint on the corners. Wow, I love this already. Let's see how much of it we can keep. Give this a torch. So I might just put some of this down on the edges as a flow aid. Oops. 
it wasn't supposed to happen. I can see all the cells are popping up here already. Just go ahead and cover all this up. Mm. Beautiful cells. Alright, let's go. See what we can get. There's so many nice things going on. I really like to try and keep as much of the nice little doodads that I can. And I want to be very careful when I go off this side because I love that there. Oh. And there's a whole lot there too. Okie dokie. Getting so excited. <laughs> wow. When I hear all the little drops on the paper, it's to me it sounds like one of those like ASMR kind of videos. So I just gently want to kiss the edge with the paint. Don't want to lose that there. And as I'm tilting, I'm seeing more and more cells popping. Oh. 
oh, I just need to put that down for a little bit. And look at my composition. Alright, I want to um, I need to get rid of that there, but I don't want to get rid of this here. this a torch then I can touch up the corners and I can bring you guys in for a close-up I think that this one, this has actually turned out really, really nicely. There's so much going on in it. Um, these cells here are beautiful. I absolutely love this here. I wish that that was like the whole painting, really. Looks so, so nice. I love all of those cells here. Really beautiful. And all of this here, this is the... This kind of looks pinkish with purple and the beautiful yellow cells. Now I'm remembering that I didn't use any silicone in this. I really like um, the outcome all these little cells in between here too that's really cool I'm not sure if this is picking up blue on my screen it looks blue but it shouldn't it's actually kind of purple and magenta and that line across there has um, a whole heap of cells within cells so you can get around there Beautiful. Yeah, I don't think my colours are actually coming up correct. You can see all of the cells in there as well. Mm. And these are these are like as I mentioned in the beginning they're all kind of folded over themselves if you see that it's kind of um, 
3D looking. So there's quite a lot going on here and I'm actually really happy with the way it's turned out. Uh, that section over there is beautiful. So I can show you, I'll show you from this end. And I like that the big black line with the one crossing it there is kind of like a focal point. It's probably where your eyes will go first. I'm just looking at that now it looks like a big ghost <laughs> guys uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one thank you bye